Hi folks and uh, welcome back. I'm still uh, messing around with that little uh, Peter Pan radio from the early to mid-1930s. And uh, you can see this uh, power resistor, or what I'm assuming it was referred to as a power resistor back in the day. And I would assume it's anywhere from 1 to 3 watts, but uh, we need to confirm that. So again, I'm going to pull up the schematic here. We'll look at it, and it's called out as uh, R8, and it's uh, 400 ohms of resistance. But again, we need to understand how to calculate the correct wattage. So uh, let me show you how simple that process is. So you can see here, this is a, a true snapshot from my uh, fluke meter. And I simply have my uh, negative lead, again, going back toward the chassis ground. And the positive lead is attached just to the other side of that uh, resistor. And uh, you're probably notating there it's a negative voltage, and the reason why, again, the voltage that we're reading here resides in that negative uh, string. That's the uh, B-minus side of the power supply, and again, all this ties back, if you follow it back over to that center tap of the uh, power transformer that we talked about earlier. So again, how do we calculate the uh, current, and how can we take that information and understand the uh, wattage or power requirements for the resistor. Let's do the math real quick. We'll look at this two different ways. The first thing we'll do is identify the current across the uh, resistor itself, and then there's another formula as well. We can calculate the power, and uh, we'll get into that method as well. And we'll compare the results, and you'll see both will be the same. So let's do that math real quick. Again, we're looking for the current, and again, all we need to do is take that known voltage, which we have, the negative 14.23, and we have the resistor value of R8 of 400 ohms. So we take 14, divide that by the 400, and you can see that gives us 0 0.035 amps of current. So what do we do next? Let's look at the, uh, the next step here if we use this particular formula to calculate power or wattage. So next, again, to calculate the power, I can just take the known voltage times the current. So again, we'll take 14 times the 0 0.035 amps. And again, you can see when we do the math, that comes out to uh, 0.49 watts. So just under a half a watt. Now again, you need a safety net there for that. So I typically uh, take that number and multiply it somewhere between 3 and 5. In this case, if you do 3, it comes out to uh, about 1.47 watts, and 5 comes out to be about 245 watts. Again, I don't have a power resistor in kind of in the middle of a uh, 1 watt and a 5 watt. So I place the uh, 5 watt in the place of R8. So let's look at the other equation real quick. Again, you may prefer just to go straight to the uh, power calculation and not understand the current. If you do, you'll see the formula below. You're taking the voltage squared, and you'll divide that by the resistance. So in this case, we'll say 14, and you multiply 14 by itself. So 14 times 14 equals 196. We'll take the 196, divide that by 400, and you'll see we come out with uh, 0.49 watts. So again, that's a match to what we calculated by uh, working the math again, looking at uh, current. So just another way to get there. And there's a third calculation for power if you would elect to take a different route. Again, you can take the uh, current and you can square that number. So we could take that uh, 0 0.035 times itself and multiply that by the uh, resistor value of 400. And that will also give you the uh, power or wattage of uh, 0.49. Hope you found this uh, helpful for folks uh, that are just getting started into the uh, hobby. Thanks again for watching.